All right, here's a brief video explaining Project 4. Project 4 will be due April 21st at 11.59 p.m. You can work in groups of three or less. All right. Uh, this is going to be, uh, I, I think this is going to be a fairly straightforward uh, project. So uh, what we want to do is we want to estimate the cap M and other multi-factor models, okay, in order to obtain alpha. All of the data is going to be held in uh, in a folder on Canvas called Project 4, okay. Just a reminder, here's your CAPM model, here's your Fama French three-factor model. In problem one, what we want you to do is from uh, the Project 4 folder in Canvas, uh, grab this Excel data set, Project 4A, and I want you to estimate the CAPM for each individual stock. I think I got daily returns. I started to do this, I started to do this in, uh, I think it's on the third video of chapter nine. Okay, so if you pull out your lecture outline and you watch the third video of chapter nine, I started to do this for uh, for some of these stocks, and, and I want you to go ahead and finish it. You're going to estimate the alpha and the beta. Again, the beta is the firm's exposure to systematic risk. The cap M, uh, the cap M systematic risk is this market risk premium here. Okay, so you're going to get the firm's exposure to systematic risk, and you should get alpha. If I recall, when you estimate this cap M, you're going to subtract the risk-free rate here. So this is going to be equal to something like that. Notice the alpha should equal, I'm waiting for you to answer, zero. All right. So you're going to report the alpha and the alpha T stat, the T stat on the alpha. You're going to report the beta and the beta T stat there. Okay. Uh, so that's problem one. That's pretty straightforward. You run eight regressions, it looks like. Uh, next, you're going to run a bunch more regressions. You're going to estimate using the same data set, the Fama French three-factor model. Here, you're only going to report the alphas and the betas. No t-stats here. Just report the alphas and the betas for each of the eight stocks. Okay, so you're going to run a bunch more regressions. Uh, you're going to see whether or not each individual stock has a positive or negative alpha. All right, that would be kind of interesting to do. All right, see if, see if after controlling for our measures of systematic risk, whether or not they have risk-adjusted expected returns. Last but not least, this, this, this one, uh, this one's going to be hard to understand, I think. I don't know how to explain this better. All right. So what I've done is I've formed five portfolios based on a, a weird contrarian strategy that, that uh, you may or may not understand after you get done reading this paragraph. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I've, I've created a measure called nearness to the 52-week high. All right. This nearness to the 52-week high is measured as the ratio of the current stock price in a particular month divided by the 52-week high. The higher this ratio, the closer the stock is to the 52-week high. The lower this ratio, the farther away from the 52-week high this ratio is. Does that make sense? And what I want you to do is I want you to not only just look at whether or not, well, you're not even going to look at this. I want you to look at changes in this ratio. I say I want you to look at, but really I've just provided the data set. It's in uh, Project 4B in the Project 4 folder. And you have five portfolios, and I want you to form a hedge portfolio, okay? And I want you to estimate both the cap M for each of these portfolios and the Fama French three factor model for each of these portfolios. I want you to obtain the alpha. The idea here is straightforward. If a stock moves further away from its 52-week high or that change in that ratio that I just explained is bigger, right? those are going to be portfolio fives. If the change away from the 52-week high is smaller, that's going to be here in portfolio one. So we're going to try to test some weird contrarian strategy where we, where we identify a reference point, the 52-week high, and we want to see if we can generate positive alpha in these portfolios. Okay, You're going to do that for the CAPM and for the Fama French. Now in problem four, just write this down. Explain your results from problem three. In your explanation, give me a recommendation of which stocks in which portfolios you would buy based on the back testing of this strategy. Okay. Be sure to understand, now, now you're going to, uh, let me tell you which, um, you're going to look at the fourth video under the multi-factor models section of module four. The fourth video 
and, and I start to do this, uh, I do this for a different strategy. I don't do this for this particular contrarian strategy, but for a different strategy. So you'll want to watch that video, uh, and, and uh, that will give you some help about how to go about doing this if you need it. Uh, pretty straightforward. You're just going to estimate a bunch of regressions. You're going to report a bunch of alphas, a few betas, uh, and then you're going to have to interpret what those alphas mean.